Good evening. Stage one of the Tour Down Under got off to a blazing start today. Kim Dillon joins me now from the Tour Village with the details. And Kim, what a great kickoff. It was an absolutely brilliant start, Katie, and it was that man, Andre Greipel, once again. Good evening, everyone. Well, over 100,000 people lined the streets today from Prospect to Lobethal to witness a magnificent start to Stage 1. Prospect played perfect host to the peloton as Stage 1 finally arrived. Maybe not as much as when I was 12 years old or 10 years old, but um, yes, I still get all nervous and excited. Some just happy to avoid burning their overall chances. Definitely after the if I'm on the finish day, it's already a big release for me and then I uh, can approach the next stage difference. Before long, the guns geared up and they were on their way. <laughs> Newly crowned Australian under-23 road champion Jordan Kirby got out to an early break through the northern suburbs, claiming the king of the mountain jersey along the way. A lycra up, Lobethal welcomed its first taste of the tour. Yeah, they flash past, you've got to be really quick to see them. Local businesses happy with a few extra bucks. Nothing can compare to how many people are out and about on a beautiful day like today. The final leg also marks the tour's first three sprints, where guys like Andre Greipel and Aussie Matt Goss will be hoping to dominate. And it was Greipel who was too good in the end, claiming stage one and the sprinter's jersey. I trust in these guys, I know they are really strong and we did it again. Edward Godfrey, Nine News.